The Russian Defense Ministry has just released a video of the firing test of the S-500 Prometheus air defense missile system. Our real cognition provides you information about this newest air defense system. During this firing test that was held during a training exercise at the Kapustin Yar range, the new Russian-made S-500 air defense missile system has destroyed a ballistic target. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said that the S-500 will replace the S-400 air defense missile system, which have been in service with the Russian armed forces since 2007. The S-400 Triumph was designed to engage ECM radar picket, director area, reconnaissance strategic and tactical aircraft, tactical and theater ballistic missiles, medium range ballistic missiles and other current and future air attack sets at a maximum range of 400 kilometers at an altitude of up to 30 kilometers. The S-400 Triumph can also destroy Tomahawk cruise missiles and other types of missiles, including precision-guided ones, as well as AWACS aircraft, also at ranges of up to 400 kilometers. The development of the S-500 began in the 2000s and is now ready for production. However, its technical characteristics have not been disclosed. Citing the Russian Ministry of Defense, the missile of the S-500 will be able to destroy hypersonic targets. Hypersonic cruise missiles are powered by high-speed air breathing engines or scramjets. After acquiring the target, unlike ballistic missiles, hypersonic weapons do not follow a ballistic trajectory and can maneuver en route to their destination. So the S-500 Prometheus is the latest generation of Russian-made surface-to-air defense missile system, currently under development by the Russian defense company Almaz Ante. According to Russian sources, the S-500 is an advanced version of the S-400 with dedicated components designed to intercept ballistic missiles at an altitude of up to 200 kilometers. The S-500 is designed for intercepting intercontinental ballistic missiles and for air defense against airborne early warning and control and jamming aircraft. The S-500 Prometheus uses two new types of missiles, the 77N6N, and N1. They can be fitted with an inert warhead designed to destroy nuclear warheads by force of impact, it's to say by hitting them with precision at great speed. According to the Russian defense industry, the S-500 will be also able to fire the 53T6M missiles, also called PRS-1M, a new hypersonic interceptor developed by Russia as part of the A-135 missile defense system and intended as a replacement for the 53T6 endo-atmospheric interceptor. The new interceptor is capable of reaching a top speed of 4 km per second, which means Mach 14. The system will have a response time of about 3 to 4 seconds, which is considerably shorter than the S-400 rated at 9 to 10 seconds. The S-500 is also able to launch extended range missile 40 and 6 m an existing missile used by the S-400. The self-propelled transporter erector launcher of the S-500 Prometheus appears to be based on the tailor used for the S-300 VMK giant missile. The S-400 launcher is equipped with two missile launch tubes or transport containers mounted at the rear of the track chassis. In firing position, two hydraulic jacks are lowered to the ground on each side of the track chassis and the missile containers are placed at the vertical to the rear side. 